you've had your way. Here we are, just about as far from civilization as we can get. What's that moving around out there? Looks like somebody in trouble. Well, let's go. Water lucky. Now, easy, partner. I lost my horse. I'm Pappy Temple of Sundown. Give this to Mickey. I'm... He's got to have a doctor, Lucky. And fast. You have some water, boys? Sure will, Miss Mickey. You Any sign of Pappy, Mickey? No. But I won't give up hope. That's the girl, Mickey. The old temple spirit, huh? over there. There, read that, Mickey. That's why you went to Goldfield to file. And what did you surprise us? Yeah, you're right. right. That. Jake, you go to Goldfield and file for us. Pay up the taxes on Suntown, just like Pappy wanted to do. I sure will. Yeah, come on, let's right. your heart. <laughs> Goodbye. And do be careful, Jake. Don't you worry, Mickey. I'll be careful, all right. I don't know just what we would do without you, Jake, with Pappy gone. Now you cheer up. I'm going to bring you back a surprise. Nana and the baby. But, Jake, this is no place for a baby. Yes, it is. Now that we can buy some comfort, you need their company. You know what you do now? Keep this mum. I send down and then file for us. I know what to do. Don't you worry, Hard Rock. I'll fix it up just right. All right. Goodbye, Mickey. Goodbye. Uh, Goodbye, Jake. So long. Mighty it all that good. Hurry up. Get along. Hello, Mac. Hello, Dana. Anything stirring? Well, nothing much. A few claims being staked up the creek here, but nothing that would interest us. Mm. All right. Howdy. I want to pay up the back taxes on sundown and have it re-registered to me and my partners. Well, sundown, huh? What's happening over there? Did you uh, strike court? No, no, just kind of like to own the place you're living, you know. Yeah, that's right. Well, I see that'll be $820, old hammer. It's kind of high, ain't it? Well, do you want it or not? Oh, sure, sure. There's your money. Yes, uh, sir. By the way, might just well file a few claims while I'm here. Might want to prove up on him. Just a waste of paper, though. You never can tell what might happen. Say, that deed sundown gives me all the mineral rights, too, don't it? Why, you know that. Well, I was just asking. 
So that'll be four dollars more. There you are. All right. Well, good day to you. So long. He's hiding something. It's a strike in a rich one. Why, he'd never pay up the back taxes on sundown. Yep, he struck it. Listen, you keep the next page clear. Make out a bill of sale. Copy his signature. I think we've got something there. We'll get him when he leaves town. Right. Nana, Mickey will sure be glad to see you and the baby. And we'll be glad to see her, too. That baby means a lot to Mickey. Now, with lots of money, she can do what she's always wanted to do. He there. He's fine. Hey. Well, it's all right then. Looks like trouble, Nana. Hold on, I'm going to make a run for it. I've got the deeds. Let's get out of here. Somebody's hurt, Lucky. Need to sundown and our claims too. You'll find the desert right over the ridge. Find Mickey and give her the baby. Baby. Something all wrong here, Lucky. Temple said he had the deed to sundown, and this fellow said he was robbed of the same deed. Doesn't make sense. Temple couldn't have done it. He's under the care of a doctor. 
Well, what do you think? I think there's something happening that isn't on the up and up. Someone's in for a bad deal. I think we'll just keep quiet and see what happens. Well, what about this little shaver? Well, I think we better get him back to sundown. He's probably mighty hungry by now. Temple said his partner and his girl were there. I'll bet this is the girl's baby. Must be their shack, but there doesn't seem to be a soul around. And this kid's got to eat. Well, let's go in, see if there's anybody to home. Here. Here. You hold the little feller. I'll, I'll see if I can wrestle him up something to eat. And they're upsetting things. Strange men? Yes. We'll see about that. Come on, Australia. Just what do you men think you're doing here? Well, Miss Wickham... How can... dare you take possession of another person's property without permission? Well, you see... You might be gentlemen enough to announce yourselves, but no, you go sneaking around like a couple of rattlesnakes. Well, Miss Wickham... Who are you, anyway? Well, you no, see... No, never mind, don't tell me. Well, what I want to know is what right have you got to come in here? Of all the nerves. Well, I... I just wish my boys were here. They'd make an example of it. Well, Miss, I'm trying to tell you. We didn't do it for ourselves. We did it for him. Oh, there's another one of you, is there? Well, I'll give him a piece of my mind, too. Why, Jimmy, where did you get this baby? We, uh, sort of found it. What do you mean, you found it? This is our baby. Yeah, we figured as much, but, uh, there's a lot to be explained. You can save your explanation for the boys. Australia, go get them. it don't look like much now but wait till it booms We better keep our eyes open. Thank you. 
Well, everything's here. It won't take much to put this place in operation. Well, let's run down these claims and have a look at them. And the next move is to Goldfield and record them. Well, first, let's ride down to that old shack we passed and see if we can't find some grub. but we're short on provisions here. Well, we're willing to pay you well, miss. It isn't a question of paying. We're short of food. Well, how would you like it if we just stepped in and helped ourselves? Take it easy, gents. Taking food by force is pretty bad business, isn't it? Well, we're desert men. We run out of grub. Desert men don't run out of grub. They're too smart for that. You're on private property, mister. And my advice is get off. Right. Hold it. Now hitch your saddles and get out of here. It was nice of you to help, but I could have handled them. Regular little firecracker, ain't she? Yeah, she sure is. We'll even things with that outfit. Wait till we break the news. They'll pour in here like flies. The town will boom, and it's all ours. Maybe them two chaps back at camp can help us solve the killing of Jake and your sister. I hope so. From now on, boys, little Jimmy is my baby. My own baby. Understand? Just as you say, Mr. Shall we start back? Doctor, I've been here about a week now. I guess I can make it home all right. And I think you better stay a few more days. You know, you were in a pretty bad shape. I was going to send this deed to Mickey and the boys. Mickey's my granddaughter, you know. Now that I'm all right, I'll sure surprise them all. I'll bet that will be a surprise. Little tender thorns, rest your head. Little cowboys won't be strong 
if they stay awake too long. Little tender fool, close your eyes. Someday you'll grow up and roam the hills the way I do. You will have your boots and saddle and a gun or two. Little tender fool, go to sleep. It is time that you start counting up your sheep. kids, don't you? Why, well, I, I didn't mean to intrude, but the baby was crying and... Sure, I know. I like kids, too. I didn't think you liked anything. Why did you say that? Just to see if you can take what your hand out. Just what do you Shh. mean? The baby. It's your attitude. The way you treat these old pals of yours. How do I treat them? Never a kind word. Never a smile. And any one of them will lay down their lives for you. And I'd do the same for them. You have a very funny way of showing it. Just who do you think you are lecture to me? The baby. Let's get out where I can tell you a few things. I'd rather not hear them. I know you wouldn't, but you're going to. Be quiet. You or anybody else can't oh, tell me. Be quiet. Me. You're, you're always fighting. Stop. 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 Now you listen. You've had your say. Now I'll have mine. You see that desert? I was born on it. I'm part of it. Sometimes it's cruel and you have to fight it. Heat, sand, no water. No food. That alone would harden you. But I've learned to love it. You wouldn't understand. You don't speak our language. You're from the cow country. How do you know? Oh, I know men. Wasn't I raised in sundown when it boomed? It was the melting pot of the wasteland. And I had to rub elbows with the good and the bad. I know men, cowboy. You can't lecture me. I wasn't trying to lecture you. But like the desert, you are cruel at times. And just as beautiful. Beautiful? No one ever told me that before. Not even your husband? My what? Oh, yeah. Forget him. But I'll remember what you said. I guess I have been a little hard with the boys. Well, I guess it's time to hit the hay. We can be friends, can't we? Sure. Good night, Nikki. Good night. You big clunk.
Crystal. Here it is. Big gold strike at sundown. They'll be rushing in here like madmen. Any minute. And the old town will be booming again. Now the fireworks start. Keep your eyes open, Lucky. Those responsible for this rush may be connected with the killings. Hadn't we better tell her about her dad? No, not yet. Let's see what develops. Well, there should be no trouble. You own the town and your deeds are properly filed. Sit tight. That was a good thought of yours, Jack. Sending Soapy to Goldfield to check up on Jake's filing. He should be getting back by now. Mickey? Let's have one last look at sundown before it awakens. All right. In a little while, that town will live again. Hum with the activity of madmen. Raised by the lust for gold. It seems so peaceful in its sleep. It's a shame to disturb it. I'm beginning to understand you, Mickey. By the way, what's your last name? Names don't mean anything out here, cowboy. Let's ride into the town. All right. mine in this place alone. Vicky, they're taking possession of our town. They can't do that. Come out here. What right do you men got to take over this town? Ownership, my friend. We're the owners. Oh, no. I have a bill of sale to sundown. Properly recorded. You're lying. You'll have to prove that. Nicky, hard rock. Take it easy. Come here. <laughs> a bad crowd. They're going to be hard to handle. We'll handle them, Mickey. We can't do a thing till Sophie gets back. I guess you're right. You just drift up to the diggings. You can't tell what they'll try next. them off of their claims, too. All right, men, get that stuff inside. Hey, just what do you think you're doing on my claim? Your claim? That's what I said. Why, you heathen scatterwag! You can't get away with this! Oh, I, I wouldn't draw if I were you. You're quite handy with that weapon, my friend. If you didn't have that gun poked on me, I'd break your neck. Take off your gun belt, Dana. Take it off! Start breaking!
get him back to town. And you all better stay away from these diggings. Kind of tough yourself, like desert people. Hey, cowboy? You can't took him down a peg of you. Don't worry about him. Australia. Yeah? Can you ride? Why, of course. I used to ride for His Majesty the King. Well, now you're going to ride for Her Majesty the Queen. Come here. Joe, this you and me sneak into town. I'm just hankering to meet that for a Dana face to face. Me too. And tell Pappy Temple to bring back the law. We're going to need it. Right you are, Mr. Jack. And I'll hurry. Well, you never can tell. It might come in handy. Me and Joe's going to drift into town and <laughs> mosey around a bit. <laughs> Watch your step, boys. <laughs> oh, we'll be all right. Don't worry about that. Keep your eye on Lucky. I'd give my right arm to a kid like that. If I was his dad, I'd never leave him. You'll never have a kid like this if you marry one of your kind of women. What do you mean, my kind? By some whitewashed, lily-fingered dame that hasn't the backbone to speak her own mind. Takes milk baths, has her breakfast served in bed, and probably blows bubbles for exercise. No, that's not my kind. As a matter of fact, I left the cow country to get away from one just like that. You never should have left. For you'll never understand desert people. Why do you say that to me? Just to see if you can take some of the things you hand out. Jack. Soapy just got back. He, Hard Rock, and Joe are headed for the saloon. Might mean trouble. All right, Lucky. Be careful. You're not by any chance interested in my welfare. Not exactly. But the baby might miss your singing. in the soup. For my part, it's gone. But it's Mickey, I'm thinking of it. Mm. Just think, 
seems lucky. This happened almost overnight. We better find those three old timers. They might be on the warpath. There's Jane and Al. Let's go over and have a showdown. We don't aim to be put aside so easy. Understand? Just what are you getting at? We ain't satisfied with your bill of sale. Meaning? Meaning that Jake Reed was shot by you and your gang and get bill of sale forged. Why you? These old men are a menace to the community. Walking around killing men for a fancied wrong. They might pick any one of you men next. I say they should be handled. Be quiet! Well, you can't take the law and rights of other men in your hands. That's what you're trying to do, Dana. Well, that's something you'll have to prove. My papers are clear. I'm not so sure of that. Now, release those three men. I'm holding them for attempted murder. You haven't the authority to hold anyone. Start going, Hardlock. I'll make you wish you'd never butted into this. You've made me glad I have. Get all our men together. We'll run them out at sunup. Right. They'll be trying in some way to drive you out. And my advice to you men is to go and take Mickey with you. Lucky and I will stay here and try and hold them. I should say not. Leave you here to fight our battle? Just what do you think of desert people? Thanks for offering, young fella, but we'll stick right with you. Watch that. Get the gun! Bruce, I'm arresting those three men for attempted murder. And you and your pal as accomplices. Now surrender, or we'll take you by force. All right, Dana. Start taking. Get back in the house. I'm staying right here. Mickey, you stay in here. Jack, maybe if Joe, Sophie, and me had surrender, it'd save trouble. And Mickey wouldn't get hurt. Don't you worry about me, and there'll be no giving up. Take cover, men. Tear that house apart. I gave them their chance. Cover those windows, boys. Surround the house. Oh, wait! Riders, heading this way. We better get into town with the rest of the boys. This may mean real trouble. Come on. Mickey, they're leaving. What? They're running away, the sneaking coyotes. It's 
Australia with the law. Mickey, you stay here. Come on, men. Come on. Let's hot put it for sundown. We can't miss this, right, sir? Feel. feel all right now, son. Well, this is Marshal Davis. Howdy, Marshal. Howdy. A gang has just taken over Sundown, and they have deeds. I'm betting they're forged. Sure they are. They're worthless. Where is this gang? They're headed for town. Let's go. anything happens and we have to run for it. There's enough dough for all of us right there in that bank. You fellas stick around and when the right time comes, handle them and blow the vaults. We'll go down and clean out the saloon. We'll drift in the back way. A minute, Dana. Hey, what's the trouble, gents? Who is he, Jack? His name's Dana. And he says he has the deed to sundown. Then he's your man, Marshal. Dana, on a trespassing warrant, I order you to leave town. Why, well, I own this town. And have the deeds to prove it. Properly filed in Goldfield, Nevada. They're worthless. I discovered the town is not in Nevada, it's in California. And here is the legal deed. He tried, Dana. This mob's been trespassing on Temple's property. Marshal, arrest this man for forgery and for the murder of old Jake Reed. Take out where you are. Don't move. Wait a minute, Marshal. The front door. Lucky, you and the boys cover the street. Don't take any chances. Come on.
Yes, sir. And everybody in town is mighty grateful. Where is Jack? He's in the house telling the kid goodbye. He sure likes that kid, don't he? Well, little fellow, no more lullabies. I'll sure miss you. I'll miss the desert and somebody else. Oh, the shucks. Shouldn't even think about her, I guess. Your dad will be coming back someday. Boys, boys! Jack's leaving and we've got to stop him. Stop him? Why? Because I love him, Pappy. But he thinks you're already married and that the baby's yours. Uh, would you like to have me tell him the truth? Oh, yes. I mean, no, no. Oh, boys, don't you understand? He mustn't know now. Isn't there some legal way to hold him? I got it. He brought that baby here, didn't he? Yes, yes. And now he's leaving. That's child deception. That's right. Oh, yes. That's right. Yes, sir. Well, I could hold him on that charge, miss, if it'd help. It certainly will. Well, come think about it. The baby really does need him. And... Quiet. Here he comes. Well, folks, I reckon we'll be on our way. And just where do you think you're going? Back to the cow country where ladies blow soap bubbles. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you and also the ladies, but you're not going anywhere. Arrest him, Marshal. Sorry, Mr. Bruce, but I can't let you leave here. Yeah, why not? For the very serious offense of child desertion. Child desertion? You brought him here, didn't you? Yes. Yes, yes. yes I brought him here, but I thought he was your baby. I don't know where you got that idea. He's my sister's baby and hasn't any mother or father now. I was never married. And I never expect to be. The desert does trick you sometimes, doesn't it, boys? So the baby hasn't any mother or father, huh? And you're never going to be married, huh? Well, we'll settle that question right now. Jack, you let go! No, don't argue with me, please. You can't Jackie, get in there. Oh, I won't go in. <laughs> well, I reckon Mickey's finally got a boss. Yeah. Well, I guess he's got one, too. <laughs>